I just want to ask each of you one question, and then this is enables us to go out there and go forth and drink wine and speculate on AI in the world going forward. Um, what's the one thing with AI we're not talking about? Anyone free free to start? Well, I, I, I sort of said it. The, the, the humans, the, the emotions, I think we are, there's a fear that's been built up about this tool. Um, and I'm hearing a lot of negativity. And I think at the end of the day, we have to remember that there are humans that help build it. There are humans that have problems that need to be solved, but we've got to focus on the human. And perhaps then the technology will sort of just fall into the background. Make, make us more curious rather than thinking how we're going to make our lives easier. Yeah. Um, I'll astonish everybody by saying that I think we have to remember diversity when we're looking at AI. Um, there's a lot of studies that show, if you think about it, machine learning, um, which Donald was talking about there, it's you're feeding in data sets. And if the data sets are being fed in by the same homogenous group of people, you're actually building biases into the algorithms. So it is actually something that has to be thought about as well, is that if you're doing, um, I don't know, language recognition software and you only have people with BBC English accents feeding into it, then somebody from the inner city in New York, their voice may not be recognized or understood. So, I mean, that's just a simple way of explaining it. I just think it's really, really crucial that like in all areas of technology. So, so saying to Alexa, you're a bitch, you don't recognize my voice, isn't going to help. <laughs> no. <laughs> got it. Got it. <laughs> no, a, friend, a friend has Alexa at home, and it will not respond to her. Her husband comes in, and oh, Alexa's like, oh, oh, well, yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> pitch. Anyway, OK. <laughs> well, I have to tell a funny story now, because uh, is this on? There is a my dog. My mother Did was. Wanted, white guy not to have his voice. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> my, mo my mother was uh, traveling through North America here, and she was getting her navigation to bring her to Michigan. But she kept on saying, "Siri, bring me to Mitch Egan," which is very Irish. And Siri kept on saying, "May I don't know who Mitch Egan is." <laughs> so that's the. One of the primary examples of how this stuff doesn't work well, but I, I agree with the two, the human aspects of it is very important. People are either talking about how AI is used to remove jobs, which is not fair, or they're focusing on how we automate robotics and things like that. But it's so much more than that. We haven't even came close to, come close to scratching the surface of what it can do for humans. So I think there's a vast opportunity for someone to really step in and start doing something serious on the human side and stop all of this all the automation, everything is great and it's necessary, it's going to happen. But what about all the other good stuff that we're missing? So I agree completely with what was said on that side. Okay, so I'm not going to stand between us and the bar. Seriously. You, want, you need to talk to these people up close and personal and as well as, you know, I want to say, Mara, everyone with respect to the LEAP program and connect to each other. So let me pass it back to you and close it out and woohoo. Thank you very much Thanks to our everyone. hosts for this lovely spread. Yes. Thanks very much to our, to our sponsors. This one works. <laughs> Thanks very much to Nicole and Tom. Oh, and Kelly's book. I have Kelly's book, and I have marked it up like unbelievable. And we even use certain pages in our business. So I really encourage you to get your cards in there and to win. Or better yet, buy it. <laughs> Thank you. I want, on behalf of the board of, of Irish International Business Network New York, I want to thank you very, very much for coming, and I also want to thank the board for their support, as well as for the gracious support of White and Williams. Nicole Sullivan and her team, technical team, we're working with people to use their technology here so we can record, so we can webcast, so we can really elevate, digitize content. And maybe we'll pass it through Watson to see what kind of cognitive insights that we're going to get. Believe me, I'll do it. Um, so thank you very much. And I encourage you to talk among yourselves. Have some wine. We have to finish this food. Arthur Avenue cannot be denied. And uh, thank you once again for coming. Oh, what our next event, excuse me, is here. It's going to be a video conference between Dublin and New York on the Global Mindset, May 5th. So you can go to IBN.com and register for it.
and we encourage you to come back. It's a breakfast, 7.30, but there will be coffee, and it'll be very interesting. So thank you once again. Thank you.